In line with the governor of Chukuma Saluda led administration, urban unirial effort in Oboko, Obaru local government area, its environment and the state in general. An enforcement team led by Anambra State Physical Planning Board yesterday commenced marking of structures for removal in Oboko, Obaru council area. Government House correspondent A.G.K. Abana reports that the enforcement team was led by the executive chairman of the board, Mr. Chike Madwekwe. His report. Armed with the master plan of Oboko, the team cited the area from the second Niger Bridge. In the process, it was established that over 200 structures are blocking the road, drainage, and waterways, thereby preventing successful emptying of flood water into the Niger River. Oboko, a sprawling slum which has a population of thousands of people, sits on the east bank of the Niger River, just north of the larger city of Onisha. The cleanup exercise is one of the major deliverables of Governor Chukwu Masoludo's plan to make Anambra a livable city. Mr. Madwekwe, a lawyer, explained that the major challenge in the area is that many people block the waterway, especially the Sakamori drainage, noting that when it rains, it stops water from emptying into the Niger River, causing flooding with its attendant damages. The major challenge in this area is that many people blocked the waterway. People have built houses on it. And therefore, when it rains, they've stopped water from emptying into the river Niger. And then it, it's causing a lot of flooding and of course the attendant damages. He has said that is not acceptable. So he has given us instruction him, that we should go and mark every house on the waterway. X without any exception. Give them notice to remove themselves. If they don't remove, he has told them that we will remove it, the government will remove it, and they will pay the cost of removal. The chief surveyor, Anambra State Physical Planning Board, Mr. Sonto Atwenyi, said that the board remains focused and committed to the mandate. Some of the residents expressed joy that the governor kept his promise, praying to God to help him complete what they described as genuine desire to transform the state. He gave us a mandate that we must clear. That's what we are in. We just have to show them around the access. Show us, show them the precise locations. When we go inside now, you see how the buildings have blocked the road, and you know when the, the roads are blocked, the drainage are blocked also. So that is where we are now. This one affected us well, well, was since last year. We cried, cried, we cried, cried well, well. That's why we call. Help. So when you are clearing, uh, you know we are mechanics, we are patching, so you people should know the way we do it and you know way to help us. If it is the way to make the, road, the water move, that is our... Uh, Recall that in keeping to his promise, Governor Soludo visited Oboko on the 18th of March 2022, a day after he was sworn in as governor, where he performed on the spot assessment of the area. From Oboko, in Obaro Council area, EGK Abana, ABS News.